Hey y'all, Irig Sky here, and within this video, I'm going to replace my old Honeywell home with the new smart Honeywell home thermostat that you know that has uh, geofencing and should help me to better save on uh, you know on heating and cooling bills. So I'm going to go through step by step and show you how this is done. It is worth mentioning before you begin, you need to make sure that your power is off. And when I say before you begin, I mean before you even uh, pop this off. So I'm gonna go down to my breaker box. I'm gonna turn the uh, turn the power off and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you how this is step by step. So now you can see I've turned the power off at the breakers. Uh, this is not powered on. And what I'm gonna do next is get my uh, thermostat out of the box. And by the way, expand this video's description and click the link there to find the thermostat like I use. I'm gonna kick off my shoes. And then what you need to do next is go pee. So if you gotta pee, man, go pee, cause this is gonna take a while. So with the breaker turned off and the power off, what we wanna do now is remove the old plate. In my case, I'm using an old Honeywell. All of these are different the way that they remove, but this one just has a little button right there I pushed. And then boom, now you can pop it out. Now what I would recommend doing is take a photo of this before you start doing anything. And then that way, if for whatever reason, your, your new uh, smart thermostat does not work, you've got a photo and you can roll back to your previous configuration. So now what we're gonna have to do is take these wires out one by one. But before we do, snap a photo of the current wiring. That way, if your smart thermostat's not working, you can always reinstall your previous thermostat and you'll know where the wires go. So take a photo, take good notes. That way you know what you have to do if you have to roll back. Hopefully you won't have to. And then we're gonna, as we pull the wires out, and this is included with the smart thermostat that I'm installing, um, we're gonna label each wire. So for example, C is in Charlie, where it says C there. Uh, we're gonna pull that, that blue wire out, you know, using a small screwdriver. You can find a screwdriver like I use as well as a smart thermostat. Expand this video's description and then click the link there. But, uh, so we'll pull that C wire, that blue wire out after using the screwdriver to loosen it. You know, lefty loosey. So turn it to the left and then you can pull that wire out and then we can attach the C sticker to it. And we're gonna repeat this for all the wires that are currently connected. Okay, now you can see I've, I've labeled all the wires. Some of them, by the way, didn't have like this S1, I had two S1s in this particular unit. So I labeled one S1 and then the other one S1 Bravo for S1 bottom. So we'll look at that once we hook up the, uh, the new smart thermostat, but you can see these others, they all had the labels that were already printed. So uh, word of caution here, make sure that the exposed tips of the wires are not covered by the stickers because that would interfere when you connect them. Also, make sure that these are very well stuck because what you don't want to have happen is when you gently, when we get to the next step and we remove the old plate by getting those screws out, then what we want to do, you want to be very careful when you remove the old plate, make sure these wires go through. Don't let them fall back in your wall, but also make sure that you don't knock your stickers off when you pull it out of the old, uh, out of the old, uh, uh, thermostat. So now you can see I've removed the old thermostat from the wall. I didn't knock any of my stickers off and obviously the cable is still properly um, seated there. So I'm not, not going to let it fall back in the wall. So our next step is we're going to use the included mounting hardware and then this wall plate for the new smart home thermostat. So let's go ahead and, uh, and connect all that. So see what I did, I fed those wires through the middle here. I haven't screwed it into the wall yet. If you've got a little bit of, and don't pull because you don't want to inadvertently disconnect it from the other end, but if you gently, you gently pull, you might have a little bit of slack. It may be advantageous to have that slack because while we connect these, the more slack you got, the easier it is to wire these into the various, uh, to the various plugs. So we're gonna go ahead and mount, now that we've got the wires pulled through, we're gonna go ahead and mount this mounting bracket to the wall. 
So now I've got the new bracket mounted. You can see it used three screws and I made sure this was level. You wanna make sure that uh, this is level because if this isn't level, your, uh, your smart thermostat, once you attach it in a little bit, it's not gonna be level. Now what we're gonna do is go through all of these labeled wires and we're going to, all you do is you stick them in the uh, corresponding slot. So we're gonna go ahead and do that as the next step. Now I'm down to the last wire, which is RC, Romeo Charlie. Now this is where you wanna pay attention to your instruction manual because one might assume that, that it would go where it doesn't belong. Actually, even though this says RC, it says if you have one R wire, set R switch to the up position. So there's the R switch, that little blue thing. And then it says insert your R wire, which could be R, RH, or RC into the R terminal. So even though this, this label was labeled RC from the previous thermostat, we're going to plug it into the R. So just a little bit of, you know, pay close attention to that, at least at the time of filming this. This is on page 12 of the owner's manual. So now that we've connected all the wires, what we want to do is a quality check. We want to make sure that there's no exposed wires here. And, uh, you know, there may, there may be a little bit, but you want to make sure they're properly seated. Also, as a visual verification, you can look at these side tabs because when you inserted the wires, they should have gone back like that. So just perform a quality check once you're confident that everything is connected to the correct ports and also that they're well seated, you can close this. So just push that to close. Now we're ready to attach our smart thermostat. So I've got my smart thermostat right here. Notice that Honeywell Home is at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this to the mounting bracket. Make sure it pops in, boom, there it is. Now I'll have to paint the wall because the wall has a white spot, spot now from where the previous uh, where the previous thermostat was. Put on your shoes unless you want to go barefoot. And go back to your uh, go back to your breaker box. We're gonna power this puppy on. Kick off the shoes and then look. Boom, power is back on. So install the Honeywell app. Oh. A bug stung me. Ooh. Ouch. Um, install the Honeywell app on your phone, and then you can uh, you can just step through the remaining setup process. Super simple. And if you're a Rain user like I am, you can then add the uh, thermostat within your Rain app. But you got to download the Honeywell Home app to set up your thermostat first. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.